Did you know that you can turn a prompt like this into a video like this? From stunning beaches to beautiful hikes, I've got the perfect itinerary for you. In under 10 minutes, you no longer need to learn any script writing or video editing skills. In fact, you don't even need to use multiple tools. With InVideo AI, you can now go from prompt to video in just five easy steps. And today we are going to show you exactly how. So if you find this useful, press that subscribe button and let's get started. Step one is writing your prompt. Start by logging into your InVideo account and then go to the text to video workflow. Here you will find a library of templates to choose from. Scroll through to find a template that fits in with the theme of your video in terms of the transitions and text animations primarily. Now we are creating a travel video and we want a template that has minimal text and minimal transitions. Once you've chosen your template, simply click on use template to go to the editor. Here on the right side, you have a blank area where all your scenes will be placed. And on the left, you have your script box. Now to start creating your video, we will use the option right above the script box where it says use AI to create your script. Simply click on this and this will open a prompt box. And here is where we will give the AI prompts for the kind of video we want. Now we are creating a YouTube video for a travel YouTube channel on a two day itinerary for visiting Maui. And so we are going to write the prompt accordingly. Now it's important to note that the way you write your prompt is what makes or breaks your video. So while writing, here are a few key details that you must include the type of video that you're creating. In this case, it's a YouTube video, the length of the video, the topic of the video, the tone of voice you want, how you want to start and conclude your video. And finally, what kind of details you want the AI to include to make the script rich and informative. Once you press enter, the AI creates a script in real time. You can see that it also puts each new line of text in a separate line and has created a day-wise breakdown just like we asked it to. Now, if you don't like the way that the script has turned out, you can once again use the same prompt box to prompt the AI again. But when you're giving a fresh prompt, you will need to include all of the details that we mentioned above and tweak it slightly so that you get a different result. I personally like how this script has turned out, so we are going to go ahead with this. Now to actually turn the script into a video, all you need to do is select the premium media checkboxes on the bottom of the script box and then click on create scenes. In video AI will then not only create the scenes for you, but will also intelligently match your script with relevant and premium stock footage from our inbuilt media library of more than 8 million royalty free images and video clips. Now, once your scenes are created, you can go ahead and replace the automatically selected media if you want something different or feel that it's not relevant. For this, we are going to use InVideo's inbuilt media library to find relevant clips and images. Simply go to the video tab in the left menu and here use the search bar to search for the kind of clips you want. Use a few different keyword combinations to get the right results. Right now, we're just going to search for Maui because we want to see what results the AI comes up with. Now, once you find a clip you like, simply drag and drop it onto the canvas. This will open a pop-up window where you want to hit replace. Now, this will open up another pop-up window where you want to trim the duration of the clip to match the duration of the scene. Select this option on the bottom of the screen that says trim video to fit scene and then click on add and your media will replace the template default. You can similarly replace any template media with an image as well. Just go to the image tab in the left menu and repeat the same process. Now, after you've done this for all the scenes necessary, we move on to the next step, which is adjusting your text. The first thing you want to do here is make any adjustments to the text itself. For instance, we want to remove these bracketed cues at the beginning of each sentence. Select the text in the script box and make the changes. Once that is done, you need to resize and reposition your text on the canvas to make sure it's readable and also looks good. Now, this is something that you will have to do individually for each scene. Once you've done that, go ahead and use the menu on top of the canvas to make additional changes. 
I want to change the font to something that is slightly bolder. So we'll choose the font option from the top menu and then use the drop down menu on the left to pick a different font. I actually quite like this one. So we are going to go ahead with that. After that, you can also change the color. I personally like white for now. You can change the animation. Again, I like what we have right now. So I am going to let these two things stay as is. Now for all of these features, you can just make changes to one slide and then select this option on the bottom of the drop down menu to apply the changes across the video so that you don't have to manually do it for each scene. Now, once your media and text are logged, it's time to add your voiceover. This is super important, especially for faceless videos. If you want to hook your audience and don't want viewers dropping off. Now, in videos, new release has added several human sounding AI voices to the library that you can now use to create super realistic voiceovers without having to worry about recording them yourselves or hiring a voiceover artist. Simply go to the voiceover option at the bottom of the screen and this will switch you over to the editor workflow on InVideo and open a drop down menu. From this, you simply need to click on the option for automated text to speech voiceover. And this will open a window on the left from where you can choose the language and the voice you want to use. By default, the type is set to realistic voices and you want to continue with that. Just choose the language and the voice as per your preference. We are going with US English and Ava as the voice. Now, once all the details are selected, click on generate voiceover to get a short preview of what the voice will sound like. Click on the play arrow to give it a listen. Aloha, are you ready to embark on a two day adventure in beautiful Maui? And if you're satisfied, click on the checkbox to add an automated VO for all the scenes and then simply click on add. The InVideo AI will then create a voiceover for you and you will see a voiceover layer added on the timeline. You will also find that the timing of the scenes is automatically synced to the timing of the narration. Now, once your voiceover is done, the final element to take care of is your music. Your template comes with a default music track, but if for some reason you don't like it, all you need to do is go to the music tab in the left menu and here you will have the option to choose a track based on either mood or genre. You can also use the search bar on top to search for songs based on specific keywords. Now we want a happy vibe for the video. So we'll choose that mood and then scroll through to find a music track we like. To add it to the video, we will first need to delete the existing music track. For that, simply select the music track on the timeline and then press delete on your keyboard. Then go back to the track that you'd selected and then click on the plus icon next to it and it will get added to the timeline. Now, once it's added, you will need to select it on the timeline and then use the volume and fade controls on top of the canvas to lower the volume of the music track so that the voiceover is clearly audible. Usually minus 15 to minus 20 decibels is a good range, but make sure you give it a listen before you finalize. Now, once all of your elements are locked, it's time to preview your video. We've only created this for about 40 seconds so that you don't have to sit through a five minute preview. Simply click on the play button underneath the canvas to view what your video looks like. Aloha, are you ready to embark on a two day adventure in beautiful Maui? From stunning beaches to beautiful hikes, I've got the perfect itinerary for you. Day one, start your day with a fresh local breakfast at the gazebo. After breakfast, Take a scenic drive to the top of Haleakala Volcano for breathtaking views. On your way down, stop at Maui Wine for a tour and tasting. For lunch, head to Paya Fish Market for the freshest catch of the day. Spend the afternoon soaking up the sun at Kanapali Beach. End the day with a Hawaiian luau and cultural show at Old Lahaina Luau. And this has turned out to be pretty great. Once you're happy with the results, go to the top right corner of the screen and hit export. We suggest exporting in 180p for the best results. Now, if at any point during the video, you face any difficulty or are not able to figure out how to proceed, you can use this chat icon right above the timeline to speak to our 24 seven support team. Their response time is less than 30 seconds. 
Alternatively, you can also go to help.invideo.io to refer to the massive library of resources that we have on using InVideo. Once your video is rendered, you can download it and then upload it to your respective social media channels. And marvel about how InVideo has made it possible to create high quality and engaging videos without spending hours learning how to script or edit. So subscribe if you found that helpful and make sure to check out these two videos next on how you can bulk create content for YouTube and Instagram using the power of AI.